After dark, this city park comes to life for some of its more <coughs> amphibious residents. In their world, a night in spring is a busy one. A toad can be identified by its bumpy skin, the way it crawls rather than hops, its golden eyes and low-lying posture. This is a female. She is embarking on a journey she makes every year. Highly anticipated by a chorus of males, they sing to attract her attention. She is joining many others at the pond she hatched in to lay eggs of her own. An impressive song wins a male his place on the back of a female. From this position called amplexus, he can be the one to fertilize the spawn. The breeding season is a competitive time for a toad, and she should have a lot of choice. But some males have other ideas. In a far less chivalrous manner, they lie in wait. Under the cover of darkness, it's an ambush. Before she's even got to the pond, he's already clinging on. This toad's not only jumping on her back, but he's jumping the queue. He's croaking up the wrong tree. There's no use singing to a taken female. These sneaky suitors can sit back and enjoy the view. And it's not just toads. These frogs are at it too. This may look a little confusing, but if you're late to the party, three isn't always a crowd. This frog has the right idea, but he's got the wrong species. Spawn can have multiple fathers, but a frog can't father a toad. This pair have gone all the way, but their eggs will never hatch. After a busy night, it's time to bury back into the ground. As the breeding season continues, he'll do it all again tomorrow. <laughs>